is HGTV Handmade. Today we're going to be making a cute, easy craft that has so many different applications. Rickrack flowers. To make these, you'll need felt, rickrack ribbon, a clipboard, a needle and thread, scissors, a hot glue gun, and optionally, a sewing machine. So if you didn't already know, this type of wavy ribbon is called rickrack. It comes in all kinds of sizes and colors, and you can find it in any craft store. For this example, I'm going to be using this rainbow gradient rickrack that I bought online, but you could use any color or any two colors that you like. Begin by cutting off two pieces of rickrack that are about 18 inches long. You can make them shorter or longer, but the shorter the ribbon, the smaller your flower will be, and vice versa. Now take the ends of the ribbons and start twisting them around each other like this. Use a little bit of hot glue or a sewing needle to hold the ends together. Clip that into the clipboard and then continue making this twisting shape with the ribbon. You don't want the ribbons themselves to get twisted, you just want to kind of weave them around each other so that you end up with this flat looking twist. If it starts by up, you can just kind of press down on the twist and that should straighten it out. Once you've gotten all the way down to the bottom, you can use another bit of hot glue or another sewing needle to hold the ends together. At this point, it should look like this. It's alright if it's kind of twisting around on itself as long as when you pull it tight, you get this type of pattern. Now we're going to move to the sewing machine, but you can definitely do this part by hand if you don't have a sewing machine. We're just sewing a simple straight stitch down one side of the rickrack and make sure that you keep it flat as you go. This just lets it lay a little bit more flat before we move on to the next step, but if I'm being totally honest, when I was making a second flower, my sewing machine broke in the middle of it. So I just kind of skipped that step and it still worked out fine, so you do you. If you want to add a sewn line, it's helpful, but it's not totally necessary. So if you had put hot glue on the ends of your ribbons, you can just cut them off now. And now it's time to roll up the flower. Make sure that you're not rolling it too tight, just enough to make it look like a flower. As you go, you can use a needle and thread to add some stitches onto the bottom so that it doesn't start unraveling. Once you've rolled up the entire thing, the top should look like this, and then you can continue adding stitches onto the bottom to keep it all together. There's no exact pattern here, just try to keep everything attached and make sure that you've sewn down the end of the ribbon so that it doesn't start unraveling. Tie off your thread and flip it over, and now this is where the magic happens. Take the outer few layers and then carefully turn them outwards so that they look like petals. You can continue doing this a few layers in until the rickrack gets too tight to turn inside out. To finish it off, cut a circle of felt to fit on the bottom of the flower, and then use hot glue to attach it. And this just hides all of our stitches on the bottom. And that's it! It's really simple once you get the hang of it, but I definitely recommend practicing with a couple colors of rickrack that you don't like as much first. My first attempt was really messy, I got the ribbon all twisted around on top of itself. My second and third attempts were so much better, and then I think the rainbow ones just came out so, so cute. So there are plenty of things that you can do with these. You could add a magnet to the back and put it on your fridge. You could add a shoe clip and then clip them onto a pair of plain heels. You could glue on a hair clip and wear it in your hair, or you could glue on a flat-backed pin to add a little decoration to your outfits. It's really up to you how you want to use them, and I would love to hear all of your ideas in the comments right down below. So if you want to make even more easy fabric flowers, I have an entire video all about that. I'll link it right here as well as in the description. If you liked this video, make sure to press that thumbs up button and hit subscribe for new DIY videos every single week. And I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone!